The earth is often the place to bury things you want to hide. Out of sight, out of mind. A burial site for radioactivity is under construction at a place in Finland called Onkolo, which means cavity or pit. When it opens in a few years, it will be the world's first permanent repository for high-level nuclear waste. When a fifth reactor is hooked to the grid later this year, nuclear energy will provide more than 40% of Finland's electricity. It's a carbon-free energy source, but it comes with a pitfall, spent fuel rods of highly enriched uranium. Operators cool the rods off in pools of water and store them in warehouses in interim casks, but they're vulnerable to leaks and accidents while they're above ground. Finland will be the first nation to permanently dispose of spent nuclear fuel. Robots will transfer the rods to giant copper casks, then bury them nearly half a kilometer below the surface. They must remain safe and dry for at least 100,000 years, into the next ice age, until the radioactive elements inside decay to acceptable levels. It's important to keep water from carrying radionuclides back to the surface, a dangerous scenario for ecosystems and human health. So Onkolo relies on a series of barriers to keep the copper cask safe. The first barrier is the rock itself. Hard crystalline rocks that have few pore spaces and are nearly impervious to water. Polsiva, the Finnish waste company excavating Onkolo, mapped the cracks as its workers dug and built the repository, a method to keep them from becoming conduits for water. A second barrier is bentonite, a water-absorbing clay that will surround the casks and plug the burial holes. The bentonite will also block microbes from reaching the casks and speeding up corrosion processes. Finally, there's the copper itself. Pulsiva says it won't corrode in what little water there might be at such depth because it's oxygen-free. Onkalo is not just a technological tour de force. It's a model for navigating controversy. In France, the United Kingdom, and Sweden, deep nuclear waste repositories have been delayed or thwarted by public opposition. Experts say Pulsiva and the Finnish government were better at engaging with residents of Eorajoki, the town closest to Onkalo. Finnish law gave the municipality a veto in the siting process, and the company dangled the promise of jobs and tax income, as well as funding a new senior center. Culture could be another reason for Onkolo's success. Finns trust scientific expertise in state institutions, like the nation's nuclear regulator. The lack of state-level politics in Finland presents another advantage. In the United States, the Department of Energy's long-standing desire to build a repository at Yucca Mountain was thwarted because of antagonism from Nevada politicians. To discuss the legislative draft before you and our opposition to Yucca Mountain, Sometime around the year 2120, after Onkolo entombed 6,500 tons of waste, all of the access tunnels will be backfilled and sealed up. Surface structures will be dismantled. No sign of the repository will remain. But deep underground, the copper cask's vigil will just be beginning. There they'll rest in silence over the course of millennia, as seas and temperatures rise and civilizations come and go.